Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne, this is Sticky Mess 17 and I have cleaning, inspiration, information and motivation for you. I just wanted to say welcome back. Thank you so much for, for supporting my channel. I am almost at 100 subscribers when filming this. So if I've passed that, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to supporting my channel and I really, really appreciate it. Any products that I use in my home will be linked to on my website, stickymess17.co.uk, so be sure to check that out, as well as in my description box. There's a few updates on my website now. Um, you can now do all of your Amazon shopping using any of my links, or I've got a direct Amazon, where you can search for your Amazon shop uh, shopping directly from my website. If you are new, I'd love to have you along with me. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and turn on your notification bells so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. There is something I want to clarify before we jump into today's video. I've got loads of motivational cleaning for you today. I've done virtually my whole house. And what is with the weather today? It has been dark, it's been light. So I apologize about the light and I've tried my best. Um, but it's felt like Sunday for like a week. That's the joys of being in lockdown. But anyway, by the time you've seen this, we should be out of lockdown, fingers crossed. <sighs> and if you live in England, sorry, but we, we still don't know what's happening in Wales. So guys, keep safe, look after each other, make sure you wash your hands. And let me get back into the information I wanted to disclose with you. On my Sticky Mess 17 website, I am raising money for the Welsh Air Ambulance. You can either donate direct through to the Welsh Air Ambulance. You can click on their link through Google or whatever. Um, I'll put any information in the in description box for you. I have been um, trying to raise money through my website to give to them, but I want to make it clear. I have a donations page on my website. I chose to donate 50% of my donations for my business to the Welsh Air Ambulance. That was my choice. I still want to support them. So through November and December, any donations that are made through my website will be going, 100% of that donation will be going to the Welsh Air Ambulance. The charity shops have to close due to the current situation. So I want to support them and I need your help to support the Welsh Air Ambulance. If you don't want to go through my website, that is absolutely fine. Please donate through either Facebook, you can do it through there, or you can do it direct on their website. I'll have the links in the description box. If you're still not sure, just Google it and you can do it through there. Please guys, they're very close to my heart, but I hope to goodness, I don't need them and no, none of you need them. I really want to support the Welsh Air Ambulance and also with that, when I hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be shaving my head and the proceeds from the video will be also going, 100% of it will be going to the Welsh Air Ambulance. So please, please, please like, share, subscribe and let's support the Welsh Air Ambulance and let's shave my head. One last bit of information for you. I am so pleased to now be well recognized by the Welsh government as a fully fledged business. So that is great news. Please do check out my website, have a look for anything that you may want through Amazon. Um, and that would be a great way to support me and my channel. And any links I do have, maybe affiliate links. I may make a commission on any sales, but that is at no cost to you, my subscriber. So with all of that information said, let's jump straight into today's video. The first thing I'm gonna do is run a cold bath with cold water and some bleach and then I need to bleach my towels just to give them a bit of a freshen up and a bit of a new lease of life. I am putting bleach tablets in there and the other water that you can see running in there is actually off my basin. I love my basin tap. If you want to know where I got my basin tap, I'll have a link in the description box. The bleach tablets are also in the description box and my daughter was just in the shop there because I was telling her the bubbles are lovely but you do not touch them. Uh, we had musical beds instead of movie night where my daughter wanted mummy to sleep in her room So I put up the mattress and we were backwards and forwards playing musical beds. It was lovely, but Yeah, what a job to get this bed back. I love this bed because it's got a spare bed stuck underneath it 
um it just makes it a bit awkward moving my daughter's bed because it's in the alcove and there's a socket right at the top there and it's just a pain in the bum sometimes but it's we've always got a spare bed and i'm gonna just sort out a night skirt night frill uh that was really really reasonable on amazon that is also linked in my description box below and also on my website all the other thing i want to mention is i have listed single electric blankets uh, double electric bank blanket and super king electric blankets also on my website so if you're interested in uh, getting a nice cozy timed thermostat um, temperature controlled rather electric blanket I have some really good ones listed below exactly the same as I've got they're machine washable and tumble dryer safe which makes it so much easier to get them washed and dried and as you'll see in a minute I will be putting my wash my electric blanket in the wash but first I need to sort out my daughter's bedroom wipe everything down and give it a good clean because there's popcorn and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff on the floor so let's carry on with that surprise my chili is back on my bed and you'll see in this clip here I am trying to coax him off by talking nicely to him and he's just looking at me like I've crawled out of a cabbage and he's having none of it but eventually he did agree he's like mummy what are you doing why are you stripping the bed when I'm on it every time so try ask him nope not having it so I said all right mate I'll strip the bed around you and he just lay there and then when I started pulling the duvet cover off he's like mm, all right then I'll let I'll go, here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be you till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride. Are you gonna tell me where you went? 
I'm now going to clean up my crock pot. I absolutely love my crock pot, um, but if you cook with that, I generally leave mine overnight in water just to soak up and loosen up. Then I'm going to use my e-cloth scrub pad and some dish soap or washing up liquid and stick it straight in the dishwasher just to loosen any hard dirt. But to be honest, I could honestly just wash it with this and let it dry, which I think on this occasion, I just put it through the dishwasher and then give it a good rinse out make sure there's nothing left stuck in the bottom of the bowl and all the soap residue is off and stick it in the dishwasher and it is so simple to clean with the e-cloth scrub pad there was a bit of something stuck on the plate so that's going to go back in the dishwasher um, and then just load everything away that's supposed to be uh, put away now <laughs> we had uh, like a tiger loaf i absolutely love the tiger loaf but i cannot stand the crumbs so i'm going to put my marble into the dishwasher as well in a bit but that will obviously go on a load on its own because it is just so Then I'm going big. to wipe down the counters with my e-cloth uh, kitchen cloth, which is this one here. And I fold it into quarters. So I've got eight sides to use. And then I'm going to move on to my stove top, which I'm using Barkeeper's Friend and my e-cloth scrub pad, which is slightly damp and give it a good scrub. And I always work in an S pattern and make sure that I get all the little bits up off my cooker so it's nice and clean and then wipe it down with a kitchen cloth and it's all done and sparkling. My daughter's playhouse is getting a bit untidy so I've just emptied everything out and giving everything a good wipe down and resetting a house for her. Don't know why I find cleaning at this house so therapeutic. I absolutely love it. I wish I could just take everything out of my house and clean it just like this every single time. Before anyone says anything about Matt just sitting on the sofa, he is actually babysitting the cat. My daughter's having a nap at the moment, so I'm going to tackle the lounge, dining room, playroom, everything room. Um, and as you can see, Chili is really cutched up to him. Uh, cutched is a Welsh word for a big snuggle, but there's nothing better than a cutch. Um, so I've told Matt just to stay put and not disturb my belly boo.
have already vacuumed in the lounge. I'm just going to run the mop over. Uh, the cameras for some reason stopped filming and then realized that my footage was gobbling up my camera space. So there is a bit of inconsistencies here, but I do apologize for that. Um, if you're new to my channel, I use e-cloth products. The what mop I'm using at the moment is the e-cloth mop. It only uses water to clean. The cloths I use are all e-cloth. I adore my e-cloths. If you haven't seen my e-cloth review, I'll link it up here for you. And I'm just resetting the lounge now that the floors are dry and putting everything back. So when my daughter wakes up, she's got a nice, clean, tidy playroom while we sit in the lounge. And there you can see Chili having a nice little cut. Now this is much later in the day. My div uh, the electric blanket has been in the machine on a 30 degree wash. It's recommended that it gets washed at 30. It's been through the tumble dryer, but I'm going to leave it air on the bed for a couple of hours. You can see it's dark. It's not actually that dark. It's just the weather is absolutely horrible today. Um, so I'm going to put that back on. The yellow staining is still on there, but to be honest, this electric blanket is probably about 10 years old now. And now this is much later. Um, again, it's super dark, so I'm trying to light up the room a bit. It's only about four o'clock and I'm going to put my mattress protector on and leave that to air for a couple of hours just to make sure it's 100% dry before I make the bed. <music> Now this is obviously much later and I'm going to make the bed as you can see there I've for some reason my camera died again I figured out that it was storage so I've managed to get a little clip of me just basically shaking out the duvet and my bed is made and I think that is enough for today right guys that's all for today thank you so much for joining me don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and turn on your notification bell so that you are notified on a Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m when I upload a new video Thank you so much to all my subscribers who have subscribed. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the description box. Any products I use will be linked in the description box. If you cannot find what you're looking for there, head over to stickymess17.co.uk and there's loads of more information on my website. Be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, look after yourself, look after your loved ones and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, see you, bye.